Corporation and live on Sky Sports. Time to meet the players and making his debut, the winner of the Dublin Players Championship. It's Alan Chuck Norman! People appreciate that he struggled with his game for many years, couldn't win the, the big titles, and then world champion, world champion, great credit to him. Yes, I mean, what happens is this belief in your own ability, and he, he just doubted himself at times, and uh, now he doesn't. Um, he gets up there, he doesn't panic. If, he, if Alan goes a couple of legs up, or two or three legs up, Gary won't panic. He knows that his game over the distance should get him over the line. What are Alan Norris's strengths? Well, he's, he's got a good scoring power, um, and, and under pressure he can take out the doubles, but whether he can do it for five, six, seven legs at a time, that's what Alan's got to work on. He's got to hope that Gary is a little bit off his game in the early part of the legs. Not a bad start, away, Marlon Rod stood your commentator to this one. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Yeah, Alan Norris, make no mistake, is a very dangerous opponent here for Gary Anderson, who by his own admission has a woeful Winter Gardens record, but that is a far from woeful start. For the world champ well I, I don't know if it's an omen but uh, Gary Anderson's opening shot in the world 57. championships that he won was a 180 his opening shot here oh. just a 180 followed 55. by followed by model like 55 just saying right well, that's it then. Call the tournament off. 80. There you go. Go on. Come on. D rig. It could have been a 
rematch of a World Championship semi-final, this, because uh, Norris... 85. ...and Yella Klaassen on the ropes at the Alexandra Palace. Klaassen rallied to knock him out and face Anderson in the semi-final. Well, that was a really good Alexandra Palace debut 49. campaign for Norris, and he'll be hoping for similar here at the Winter Gardens. Yeah, Alan Norris is one of these players that just loves competing. 85. He loves being up there, giving it his all, seeing what damage he can do. We know about Gary Anderson, we know how good he is. Imagine being a little tie at nursery. What does your dad do? He wins world titles. Superb. I'm surprised Gary didn't go double 18. 88. For the tops. The first blood, 104. 48 for 36. That leaves 36. That is a superb start by Alan Norris. We've already seen James Wade, the sixth seed out. Adrian Lewis. Got embroiled in a match with Mark Webster. 18. What does this hold? Only time will tell. And his best effort, Gary Anderson, is one semi final, one semi final only at the match play. 134. The rest of his record is littered with defeats before the quarter final stage. Yeah, but what a semi final that was with Phil Taylor. One of the greatest matches that that stage has ever seen. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Well, they appear to have settled, don't they? And I think Rob Harrington was right about the the pace of this game. I think it'll suit the pair of them. Thirty-six. Well, to leave a two data, but Norris will be looking to leave something similar here when he takes his darts out the board, but he hasn't been able to do so, so that gives Anderson some real breathing space on throw. 16. Tops. 56. We saw Kim Hybrex take out 153 earlier this afternoon. To no avail, he lost to go in price 60 57 36 57 36 wow 170 Price 20 in the second round levels the match but not without a scare Keep on. Rat a tat tat stuff from 40. Norris. Former world championship runner up. Alan Norris was to Stephen Bunting in the BDO World Final 2014. He's an accomplished player. 59. Trying to leave a finish, that's why he started 58. on the 18s. Anderson has lost in the first round on two occasions, the second round on four occasions, in that semi final we were just talking about. But he's definitely cognizant of his match play record. This is the first thing he offers up if you start a conversation about this tournament. I'm hoping to do better than a rest of the rubbish results, is pretty much what he says. Oh, that's better, Gary. But Gary isn't the norm. He doesn't. His career path hasn't gone like most other dart players. He won his world title after the 14th attempt. That's kind of unheard of. The man's a phenomenon. Yeah, and now he's in front for the first time.
first time Norris! in the match. Uh, as he breaks the Norris throw to go in front 2-1. I don't think Gary Anderson as a human being has ever been so happy and settled. And I don't think he's ever been a better dart player either. He's had a very good time in the Darts World Series. Oh, as Norris hits a match. Anderson having won three of those tournaments as he gallivanted round the globe. And also took the opportunity to take his young family away and enjoy some of the sights of the Far East. Oh, well, good dart. There's a good switch after the first. Uh -oh, I was being sarcastic, sorry. Well, five big trebles for the big man. Oh, 100. Did he get that over the top there? It's Gary Anderson, man. He was looking to fill it up to lead double ten. One hundred. But he's Gary left a hundred by halving his score. Will he get a stab? This is already a good game, isn't it? Eleven or treble. Bullseye. Ninety-six. Played it at a good pace. One hundred. And darts being accurately thrown. Sixty. Got to stay there. Well, you had a marker, Alan. What are you doing, pal? Sixty. I'm slightly. Twenty-five. Yeah, don't quite make that out. In shot of the fourth leg, Gary Anderson. Oh, Gary Anderson. He's quite he literally won. made a living out of hitting one double twelve. Yes. Slightly surprised at Alan there with that hundred finish. It's always easier well, to use a marker. The highest average of the first round so far. Michael Van Gogh in 105. 140. Gary, 101 at the moment. But we know there's plenty more where that came from. 91. Well, it's only the fifth leg of the match, but it's a very important leg of the match as far as Alan Norris is concerned. To go 4-1 down to the world champion with two breaks of throw. It's certainly not the game plan. He's not. Treble 17 ball was the unlikely escape route after the first dart. So Anderson here now with half a chance. Yeah, real life chance. 60 with first or second dart. Want to stay there? Bullseye again. Well, he's getting closer. Real important visit. 16 or treble. Well, single 16 now. Tops. 24. Gary Lucas 25. Well, you've seen it before. You've seen it again. And the world champion races in to a 4-1 lead against Alan Norris, who had the audacity to take the opening leg of the match, but since then, the flying Scotsman has got back on track, and Anders leads 4-1. Welcome back to day two of the World Match Play at the Winter Gardens. And what a day! Mervyn King struts in his stuff, beats James Way 10 5. Brilliant performance. Adrian Lewis beats Mark Webster 10 6. Right now, Gary Anderson, the twice and reigning world champ, 4 1 up on Alan Norris. And last on. Peter Wright takes on Joe Cullen. That could be a cracker as well. Well, the story so far of this game is that Gary Anderson is playing how you expect Gary Anderson to play. A couple of 180s, 101 average. 50% on the doubles, which is good. 
but Alan Norris in that last leg 100. just fluffed his lines on a 64 finish and could have been closer at 3 2, but 4 1 it is. Oh, what a start! Having come back onto stage, no doubt going off it in quite a temper. 100. He, he won the first leg with a 104 checkout, Alan Norris. He also missed double 18 for a 153. He won. Give a lot for a break here to get him back in the match, but Anderson has got other ideas. Well, Gary, he's hardly having a visit without a big treble. And 50% on the doubles is going to make him tough to beat. 70. Well, Alan Norris had 170 in his mind from the outset of that go by the looks of it. 105, Alan, you require 170. Well, the kind of thing you'd probably do at an exhibition. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I do at an <laughs> exhibition. Yes, yes, that's it. Gary, you require 96. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Anderson looking for a treble 20 here, which would have left double eight. And Norris has only offered up 58 from Alan, the 170 lead. And the previous two outer balls before that, he had a real chance to break two visits ago. Now he's only got a quarter of a chance. Oh, hello. Double top. Well, it's not 92. the approved route, Very but it was a route. Double four. Game show the no mistake. And Alan Norris Seven looks concerned, and so he should be. He's having chances. We fashioned an opportunity for himself 95. there, but it all began to go wrong. With went on two twenty with two darts in hand, he went out to pull out a ball. Yeah, in the fifth 85. leg of the match, that we, we already alluded to the fact that he had a chance to win it. He won in hundred and two, and off that just left sixty four. And like you said in the previous leg, the, the setup plays 100. have not been good enough. They've put him under pressure and eased the pressure off Gary Anderson. 93. 59. Oh. Again, trying to leave a finish, but not hitting a big treble. Against this man, that's not going to wash! Third for Gary, fifth of the match. Well, he's 107, will he get a stab at it? Yes, he will. So, Norris again with one of these mid-range finishes. He's had the 104, as Anderson makes a mistake. The last rate we saw the missed dart at tops off 112. Yes, double 18. Well, he's wild out for the second time in the match. All three big combination finishes that Alan's had a go at have ended on double 18. As Gary messes it up again for his second leg. Double 18, clearly likes this, Norris. Took it out in the first leg of a 104 combination. Double nine. Oh my. No score. Gonna require 48. Double top to punish again. Double ten to punish again. He does so. Yeah, he goes six one well up, Gary Anderson. That's six Gary consecutive Anderson. legs yeah. with Norris oh spurning chances. Good Norris on. having missed his last six darts of the double in this match. Starts with his fourth 180. That's the difference in the scoreline. 55% plays 14%. Yeah, and the 100. one for Norris was his very first attempt in a double. 104 finish. 58. Can't say he hasn't had chances. Can't say he hasn't missed chances.
38. Sloppy. There always comes a point when the pressure tells. 125. Is it coming to that point where Alan Norris may be losing that just tiny bit of belief? He's normally, uh, like I said, he loves competing. But he's getting quicker and quicker, and his action is becoming more ragged. Ninety-four. Well, it's a really good leg on throw here for Anderson. Double uh, on the cards in two darts here, and he's only thrown a dozen. So that's really solid with a six-one lead. Four tops. Fifty-eight percent on the doubles. Scoring well. The mistakes he's making, Gary Anderson, he's getting away with. It's working out for him at the moment to be kind of the, the perfect first round scenario. A little more than an exercise canter on Blackpool Beach for Anderson. Make no mistake, this is not some kind of darting donkey, this is a thoroughbred of the highest quality, two-time and defending world champion. 100. His record here just a just a mystery, really, and you could say the same about the the world championship. It was a mystery why he didn't do any better in that, and he's suddenly come to life. Why can't he come to life in Blackpool this week? Well, exactly. Ninety-one. Alan just becoming slightly crimson in the face. Forty-two. Well, Alan it was a visit without a big trouble. Got to jump on that, Alan. Fifty-eight. Gary Lucar, one hundred and thirty-nine. Poor oh, trouble. Fourteen. Yes, for tops. Ah, oh, yeah, exquisite. Anderson. Sounds like he's getting through the first. The high he finish won. of the match. 139, five maximums, 100 average, and an 8 1 lead for the world champion. Boring, boring, Gary. This is what he does. They're uh, singing his name now. It's horrible when the, when the, the, the crowd are singing someone else's name and you're playing them. It's quite disconcerting. Yes, the six. Well, Gary Anderson whitewashed Robert Thornton on this stage. And Alan Norris must be thinking, thank goodness for the 104, otherwise he'd be going the same way. Alan Norris led this match 1-0. 97. <laughs> and that was as good as it got. Looking for a big treble and finding one. Gary leaving 166. 58. Alan, you recall 157. Well, I said in the last leg, a Gary Anderson visit without a big treble, you got to jump on it, Alan, and he couldn't. Well, it was going bullseye, treble 19, bullseye. Okay. If you fancy it. 69. I don't agree with it, Alan. Just thought I'd let you know that. He's treble 17. Yes, for double top. The nod. The confirmation. And Gary Anderson makes it nine consecutive legs here in this first round tie. This is a man who's got a very poor record in Blackpool. Not anymore. This is turning into a round. 9 1 Anderson needs one more leg for a place in round two. That's the world champion. That's a 57, 42, and tops. It equates to a 1 3 9 finish. He was 7 1 up at the time. That made 8 1. He's now 9 1 up on Alan Norris.
Well, Chuck said his chances, but he's chucked them away. Mervyn King beat James Way 10-5. Mark Webster is out, beaten by Adrian Lewis 10-6. Gary Anderson currently 9-1 up on Alan Norris. Coming up shortly after this will be Peter Wright takes on Joe Cullen. Well, as a player, you kind of think, right, OK, this is gone. Just got to try to win this, maybe reel off two or three legs and make your opponent panic. But that's against normal opponents, not the twice and reigning world champ, that that can happen. 140. Not over to it's over, though. One hundred and fourteen. One hundred and fourteen. Well, Anderson is in no mood to delay the conclusion, the inevitable conclusion, any longer than is absolutely necessary. Looking to come out and rattle off what would be a tenth consecutive leg. Wrap it up 10 1. Well, if you're going to have bad luck and bounce outs, this is a pretty good time to have it, Gary. 9 1 up. 77. I should say so. There is it a 180 in each of the last three legs and a 1 3 9 finish, a 108 finish. He's sitting at 1 4 4 for the match. 60 60 24. Can you? Nope. Well, he was thinking of leaving for 96. Well, we've seen some old finishes from attempts from Norris tonight. He might go bull, bull, double 15 here. Well, he just needed the single to give him at least a chance with the second dart. But now it looks like good night for Lampo. Tops, it's been good on this. Yeah, it's good on it again. Gary Anderson beats Alan Norris by 10 legs to 1. A superb performance. 6-1-8 is a 108 finish, a 1-3-9 finish. Alan Norris had chances early in the piece, but I'm afraid he'd come up short. Gary Anderson with a 101 average will play Terry Jenkins in the second round for a place in the quarterfinals.